Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. In this video, I've got an HSS guitar shootout. So it should be a lot of fun. I've got four different guitars from four different manufacturers. Let's jump in and check out the guitars. <laughs> Now, if you're a new guitar player and you found your way to this channel, HSS simply refers to the pickup configuration. So humbucker, single, single. Now, nearly every manufacturer on the planet makes some sort of HSS guitar, all the way from the cheapest $99 guitar, all the way up to, you know, $10,000 handmade custom guitars. And there's a reason for that. HSS is so versatile. It gives you the best of single coil tones along with the best of a humbucker. So I've got, as I mentioned, four different guitars from four different manufacturers. Let's jump in and check them out. Okay, so let's start with the least expensive guitar and then work our way up to the most expensive. Now I'm just gonna do a quick overview of the guitars and maybe highlight anything special or unique about you know each instrument. Other than that, I'm gonna link to them all in the video description below if you want all the detailed specs. Okay, so guitar number one is an absolute classic. This is the Yamaha Pacifica. What a great guitar. Basically, you know, an entry level instrument comes in and about, you know, 200 bucks, sometimes a little cheaper, sometimes maybe up to 300 depending on the model. But yeah, it's an absolute classic. These guitars are really well made, good quality control. This one has a maple neck, rosewood fingerboard, alder body, and of course, HSS. I think all the Pacificas come with HSS, which is a great, you know, a great option. Now in terms of like the body shape, it is more modern looking than a traditional Strat. Uh, you can tell in the horns, a little bit thinner, a little bit more angular. Um, the contour right here you can see is a very sharp line. Sorry, I'm just going to look in my monitor to try to catch that. Right there you can sort of see that break in the wood. So a very kind of aggressive forearm scoop. Other than that, very very basic five-way switch, humbucker single single, and we've got one tone and one volume. Next up, we have a Schecter. Now this one represents kind of that upper mid-range tier of HSS guitars. A ton more features than, you know, the Pacifica or your typical like Squire Affinity or something like that. So anyway, this one is the Nick Johnston signature model. So really cool guitar. And as I mentioned, it's got a ton more features. So we get things like locking tuning machines. This one has a roasted maple neck. It also has an ebony fingerboard, which is unlike any of the other guitars in this comparison. So it kind of makes it unique. Uh, it has the biggest frets of any of the guitars in this comparison too. So it's got jumbo frets, flat fingerboard, um, of course, HSS, and it does have one additional feature, again, that none of the guitars in this uh, comparison have. It has the ability to split the humbucker. So if you do want to go to, you know, an SSS kind of configuration. You can split that humbucker into more of a single coil type tone, or if you just want to leave it in the humbucker, you just do that. So that's a really nice feature as well. This one is in Daphne blue with a mint green pickguard. I'm not sure if the camera will expose that properly. It's always hard to get Daphne blue on camera. But anyway, uh, that's what this one is. Let's jump on to the next guitar. So next up in our HSS comparison is a Vola. Now the Pacifica was made in China, the Schecter was made in Indonesia, the Volas are made in Japan. So I did a full demo of this guitar a couple weeks ago. If you happen to miss that, I will link to it above. I go through all the detailed specs there. But anyway, yes, made in Japan. So we've got vintage style Goto locking tuners, roasted maple neck, very flat fingerboard here. So again, very fast playing. Um, obviously HSS, alder body, maple neck, uh, just simplified volume, 
tone, five-way switch. So really ergonomic. This one is the lightest of the bunch. So very easy, fast playing guitar. That's the Vola. And of course, we can't have an HSS guitar comparison without representing the company that started it all. So this is a Fender and this is the Fender Select Stratocaster. So a really unique instrument. We've got Fender locking tuning machines. We've got a bird's eye maple neck, which is just a little fancier than regular maple. Uh, rosewood fingerboard, compound radius neck, and of course this incredible flame top over an alder body. And I guess another unique thing about this instrument is because we've got two tone controls, this one is wired up to the neck pickup, this one is wired up to the bridge pickup. So this is, I think, the only guitar here that has a dedicated tone control for the bridge pickup, which is another nice feature. So we've got four different guitars from four different companies spanning the price range from Yamaha to Schecter to Vola to Fender. So it should be a lot of fun. Let's jump in and check out some tones. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna hit up some single coil tones for you guys, but what I'm personally really curious about is how the humbuckers compare to one another. That's gonna be really interesting because, you know, that's one of the, the big highlights of an HSS guitar is the ability to get, you know, classic, you know, blues and pop tones with your single coils and some awesome, you know, rock tones with that humbucker. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is what each manufacturer does for position two, because some just, you know, put the humbucker on with the middle coil. Some of them split, you know, the outer coil with the middle coil. So each one, you know, has sort of a different and unique way to get position two. So that's what I'm really curious about. So we'll compare the humbuckers and position two, and of course, give some regular single coil tones as well. <laughs> Now let's clean things up and check out position two. As I mentioned earlier, some guitars leave the whole humbucker on with the single coil, others split the humbucker with the single coil, so it should be interesting. Let's take a listen. <laughs> All right, now let's move on to the neck pickup and listen to some classic tones. Here we go. Finally, another advantage of an HSS guitar is you get position four, which is definitely a classic tone. Let's check that out.
Right, so after listening to these guitars, let's talk about the tone, let's talk about playability, and the feature set slash recommendations. Now, in regards to tone, let's start with the Yamaha Pacifica. So, to my ear anyway, it had the hottest output pickups and the warmest, roundest tone. And I think that does make sense because this particular model, which is the 112J, I believe, has uh, ceramic-based pickups. And again, in my experience, uh, when it comes to single coils, ceramic-based pickups are hot and they're very full-sounding. So I guess that makes sense. Now, moving on to the Schecter, um, yeah, it was a little bit brighter, slightly more clarity than the Yamaha for sure. I was surprised a little bit. All the pickups are quite low output. And, you know, when it comes to Schecter, sometimes we think, okay, it's just like, you know, high gain chugging or whatever. But this particular model, uh, very sweet sounding pickups, kind of like quite low output. So sounded really good. Now moving on to the Vola, this one definitely had the most clarity, it had the most brightness and the most chime. So I think it has kind of like the most vintage kind of tone out of all of these. So lots of clarity, lots of brightness, sounded great. And when it came to the Fender, it was kind of, um, I think second in warmest to the Yamaha. So to my ear anyway, it was Yamaha was the warmest, then the Fender, then the Schecter, and then the Vola. So it just depends on, you know, what kind of tones you want. I thought all of them, you know, gave a very, very good humbucker tone in terms of riffing, in terms of those harmonics and stuff like that. Um, and each one sounded like a Strat, just a slightly different flavor. Now, as for playability, this is a very important part when you're choosing a guitar. And unsurprisingly, the Yamaha was the roughest around the edges. And that's saying something because that's a really good guitar, but you could just tell, you know, the frets weren't quite as polished and as smooth. Uh, the hardware and the knobs felt just a little bit cheaper. I mean, I could pick up that guitar and just have fun and play all the same stuff, but you just noticed a little difference in playability. Now, as for, you know, the Schecter, the Vola, the Fender, all of those felt, you know, pretty equal in terms of quality, which is great. I think the only differences in playability would be fret size. So the Vola and the Fender, very similar fret size, and the Schecter had bigger frets. And in terms of radius, these are all kind of flatter playing guitars. So I think the Yamaha is about 14 in terms of the radius. I think the Vola was 12, uh, Schecter was 14, and the Fender was compound. So uh, all of them gave a very flat, fast playing experience. Um, and as I mentioned, the Vola was the lightest, but they all balanced really, really well. So, I mean, with these S-style guitars, they all have really great ergonomics, um, really great playing experience. Now, as for my recommendations, first things first, you can't go wrong with an HSS guitar. Almost every maker on the planet has something like this, and uh, it's just such an awesome and versatile configuration. Now, of the guitars that I tested today, uh, if you don't have a lot of cash, the Pacifica is a no-brainer. And if you're trying to decide between like a Squire, maybe Affinity, HSS, and a Pacifica, uh, I did a shootout between those two guitars where I go through in great detail and show the differences between the Pacifica and the Squire. So I'll link to that above. You can check that out if you're, you know, not wanting to spend a ton of cash and you want to know the differences. Now, of these four guitars that I have today, uh, the Schecter definitely has the most features and I think the most value. Um, the Vola and the Schecter here by far have the nicer trim systems. I didn't really talk about that, um, but the Yamaha feels pretty clunky and uh, and the Fender's pretty, you know, it's, it's nice, but... Um, yeah, anyway, the Vola and the Schecter have definitely the smoothest and nicest and, you know, just very responsive trims. And of course, the Schecter has the splittable humbucker. It's got the truss rod adjustment right here and so on and so forth. So it's got a lot of features, um, really great fret work like all Schecters. So I think this one would be a good choice. Now, as for, you know, the Vola and the Fender, those are very high-end guitars and they feel very high-end. So they're both made really, really well. Um, they don't offer quite as much value as the other two, but if you want a high-end HSS guitar, that Vola is absolutely amazing. And of course, Fender is Fender, the ones who started it all. So let me know if you guys have an HSS guitar that you really love. Drop it in the comment section below. I'd love to read what kind of guitars you guys have and what you think of them. Other than that, if you enjoy videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking my face right here. Rest of my links, uh, t-shirt store, tab store, links to the guitars, all in the video description below. Have yourself a great day.